All right, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud tutorial. In this one, we're going to talk about keyframing basic effects. So here's a shot after Brock Mellows gets knocked out, and we need to visually communicate that he has been knocked out with a strong punch, and his vision might be a little blurry. So what I'm going to do is play this scene back for you so that you can get a little perspective. It must have been a lead pipe because I got hit and I was knocked out cold. Okay, so he got hit and he's knocked out cold. So what I want to do is grab this kind of larger hard line and I'm going to scoot this down so that I can see my video tracks. And then I also need to mouse over the line right here and stretch this out so I can make the track taller so that you can actually see it. And then down here is where I can adjust my zoom level. Notice if I move this to the left, I can zoom in. Okay, cool. Now the next thing that I need to do is go over here and click on effects. So if I click on effects, and if there's a particular effect that I want to find in my effects, I could actually just type it right here in the search window. So in my case, I want a blur. So if I type in blur, you'll see that it's going to bring up everything that has the word blur attached to it. I actually want to use this Gaussian blur right here that's inside of video effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. So as long as I have the selection tool or the shortcut V on the keyboard, if I click on the Gaussian blur effect and I come over here and I drag and drop it, onto this clip notice as I hold down the mouse button there's a little plus sign next to that and when I let go it's going to add that picture effect to the clip now what I want to do is actually double click on this clip and that way it's loaded inside of my source monitor so inside my source monitor I have this thing right here that's called effects controls for whatever reason if you don't see effects controls go to window and make sure that you have effects controls checked and that way this window will be here. So now what I want to do is actually bring my playhead back to the beginning of this clip and notice as I move the playhead it also moves here in this window. So I actually want to move the playhead back to right before where this clip starts and right here where it says blurriness, I want to click this keyframe animation toggle and I'm actually going to increase the blur to let's say 180, right? And notice right there it made a little tiny keyframe. So as the playhead moves forward into the footage, you can see that it's extremely blurry. And now if I just click here in the number and I move this to the left or I type a value, it will write another keyframe for us. So between these two keyframes, as it plays back, it'll be extremely blurry to coming into focus. So if I want it to last longer, all I'd have to do is grab the second keyframe and pull it to the right, and that way it would take longer for it to come back into focus. Okay, so if I want to adjust the value for one of the keyframes, notice the little arrows right here that says go to previous keyframe. I can jump back to the first keyframe, and let's say that's too much. Maybe I drag and bring it down to 99. Now let's play it back. Because I got hit and I was knocked out okay, and if I want to change the value of this keyframe, I could jump to it or double click on the keyframe notice there's the value that I can change. Okay, so that's a real simple way for us to animate our blur effect and other basic effects inside of Adobe Premiere. 